Okay, we are going to now get your time travel project into Scratch. Um, Scratch you can get on a tablet or a computer. If you want your work saved, you'll need to sign in and um, I'll talk about that in another video. So what you're going to need for this project are creating um, four arrow keys as sprites. So I created an arrow key. What you can do is create one arrow key and then um, twist it or duplicate that sprite and then move it around so it goes to a different direction. And then when you click a sprite, so we're on, we can tell we're on this sprite right now because it has that blue. So when I click that sprite, which is that one, I want to broadcast up. Okay. And so the same is going to be true for this. I'm going to broadcast right, down, and left for each of those. All right, so now I'm on my uh, sort of player character, my main character, which is the Scratch Cat. Obviously, it can be any character you want. And this is where I'm going to receive all those broadcasts and do something different depending on which one it is. So if I'm going up or down, I want to change Y. So anytime I'm going up or down on Scratch, I'm changing Y. Um, if I'm going up, it's positive. If I'm going down, it's negative. So that's why I have change y by 10 positive, change y to go up, and change y by negative 10 to go down. If I'm going right or left, um, then that is this way, and I'm changing x. And going right, I'm changing it positively, and going left, I'm changing it negatively. So what you want to do is code everything up, because it's really easy to get these um, not right. And so at this point, you should code it up and then try clicking on your arrows and see which way your main character moves and fix it until it's going the right way. All right, now you're sort of ready to think about the drop backdrop you need for your time travel um, project and what artifacts you want to have. And those artifacts you're going to use the arrow keys to get your character to. And when they're touching like this, something's going to happen. Some um, You're going to say something about that artifact. This is a code for this. This is called a condition. And so we need a flag clicked as our event. And then inside of forever, we're going to see if this uh, sprite, sprite six, is touching sprite one. Okay. And that is a sensing code over here. And then if it is, then it's going to say something about um, that artifact. If it's not, then this won't show up. So this only shows up when the two are touching. So you want to have at least two or three of these um, artifacts around that you're telling something about the time period you're studying. Um, all right, good luck.